Hello, this is the first step of how to make red cheese enchiladas. And just take a regular corn tortilla, place it in a pan or skillet with hot oil, vegetable oil or canola oil. Place it in the hot oil. No more than five or ten seconds. And take it out. That's the first step, an important step. Okay, so this is the second step for how to make red cheese enchiladas. And all you really need, of course, after the first step, after frying the corn tortillas, you then set them aside, let them cool for, I'd say about four or five minutes. Of course, depending on how hot the oil was. And then get a tray, something like this, or even a glass dish or will do. And then all you need is some kind of shredded cheese. Um, of course, some enchilada sauce. Uh, some onions, diced onions, of course, diced onions. Also some jalapenos. And of course, that all depends on what you prefer. You know, if you like onions on your enchiladas and by all means add onions. If you don't, you can leave them out. Uh, some people like to add other stuff like real fresh tomatoes, uh, black olives. I've seen some people add a little bit of garlic, um, tomato paste, other tomato based condiments. Uh, it's really up to you. Of course, this is, this is just the recipe that I, that I prefer. Uh, and of course, once you fry the corn tortillas, you place them in the tray, uh, put a, at least a small amount of cheese in the tortilla, in each tortilla, wrap them up. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, I mean, you know, uh, but wrap it up, wrap the tortilla, the tray and you can place cheese on top of it of course and that's the second step uh, yeah so of course the next step will be putting it in the oven okay so here's the next step once you have the enchiladas all wrapped up and covered in cheese and sauce and onions and other, other stuff then you're ready to put it in the oven and you can preheat the oven if you want to. It's not really necessary, but I usually preheat the oven for no more than uh, a couple minutes. I preheat it at about 350 or 375 for no more than a couple minutes. Uh, and then you place it in the oven at about 375 for no more than uh, 15 to 25 minutes. Definitely no more than 30 minutes, but for just cheese enchiladas, uh, really only need about 15 to 25 minutes of cooking time. So, there you have it. Uh, uh, last step is coming up.